particularly um, focus on CSTEM for this school. about the future and what the future holds for our future lead leaders and our young scholars, we want to make sure that the programming is embedded in the design. As we talk a lot about really uh, shifting or adjusting that learning experience for kids, um, what I see in this space is just some really intentional design and use of space to align it with what they're doing with kids. So high quality use of space and uh, just really engaging spaces for kids aligned to what they're really doing, which is transformative learning. It hits it and then comes back. For the stopping points, I'm trying to plan to make it exactly like the beginning. The students here are very engaged in what they're doing. A lot of different things around STEM. Uh, from the kindergartners that we talked to all the way through the eighth graders, everyone seemed to have some kind of technology that was a part of their lesson. We didn't stop down here, right? So what happened? We didn't go out of control. But what did happen? No, six times six is thirty-six. Now add one of the areas that is, is on the agenda for future development is how do you formalize bringing student voice on with them having developed an understanding of what tools they have available and being able to speak with um, experience about what is working for them and what's not. How are you thinking intentionally about PD for new staff coming in next year to make sure that they understand what your culture is like? That's going to be really um, the work of a lot of the ladies up here is kind of working side by side with those new teachers. Um, I know as Heather remarks on full-time coaching next year, that is one of the things that um, I know I tasked her with is just kind of looking at who are our new staff members, who are teachers that came on mid-year and still might need a little more of that support. As a teacher, you don't really get to typically have this experience of shaping who you work with, what the culture you want your school to have, the mission, the vision, the values that you want all of your staff to stand for. I think that teaching as a team lead here and being on the cadre has really just like given new joy and refreshing perspective to being a teacher and getting to build something as special and as awesome as this and watching our kiddos take part in it every day has definitely reaffirmed my decision of, yep, teaching is where I'm supposed to be. Kids and students, they want to be here. They want to learn about the new technology and they want to use it. The teachers, as I said before, like they're engaged. They're there to help whenever you need it. Like most of the time, they're like learning with you. So. That facilities really can influence outcomes. With a student that was in our uh, tour group asking about the differences uh, now between uh, her learning before. Um, and very much got the impression she's empowered in her own learning. Everywhere I looked was purposeful and focused on learning. There was, there was a lot of challenge in the building, but I, I didn't see stressed out kids. I saw excited kids. That they're embedding that character trait into their learning. Just walk in the hallways. It's a fun building. Right? Line,